Hey guys, welcome back. Today I will be sharing some fun Halloween Dollar Tree DIYs with you guys. I hope you guys enjoy all of these fun, festive DIYs that I have for you guys today. So let's get started. All right, let's go ahead and get started with DIY number one. And I will be using this little wooden cutout from the Dollar Tree that says Wicked. It is so, so cute. If you don't have this one, and maybe you picked up the one that says Trick or Treat, you could totally swap them out. I'm just going to cut off the little twine that it came with, and I am going to fill in the two little holes with some wood filler. The stuff is optional, but I just really wanna give it like a very fine polished look. So I'm just gonna go ahead and fill this in, let it dry, and then I'm going to give this wooden piece two coats of the Waverly chalk paint in ink. Alrighty, I love how this little wooden piece turned out. If you have more paint on hand, I think a yellow moon would definitely look really cute. Now I will be taking this little piece right here from the Target Dollar Spot this year. It is this little faux shiplap wooden frame that looks absolutely adorable and it was only five dollars i will also be taking some glue dots from the dollar tree to apply the wooden piece to my little faux shiplap wall decor i decided not to hot glue it down because i want to be able to reuse this piece and actually i'll be able to reuse everything that i'll be using today since i didn't use any permanent adhesive once that is pressed down, I am going to take some Dollar Tree ribbon to make a bow. And I went with these three prints here, the black and white buffalo check print, a deep orange burlap ribbon, as well as the smaller wired ribbon that is burlap with black polka dots. After I fluffed out my bow, I thought it just needed a little something in the middle. I was going to go with a pumpkin, but I did have these little witch brooms from the Dollar Tree. So I popped one out and I trimmed the bottom of it to make it a lot smaller. I also trimmed the handle or the broomstick and I am going to hot glue it to the center of the bow. And then I will take the bow and I actually applied some Velcro dots to the back of the bow as well as to the little decor faux shiplap piece so that I could easily remove this item and not damage the little shiplap frame. Alrighty, and here is a look at DIY number one. I think it turned out so cute. And if you remember from one of my previous DIYs, I have this little wooden frame from Hobby Lobby and I just thought to elevate this piece a little bit and give it some more height. I just popped it in there because it fit perfectly and I just loved the way this DIY turned out.
Alrighty, moving on to DIY number two. I will be using these little galvanized Halloween spooky words from the Dollar Tree and I will be giving them a couple of coats of the Waverly chalk paint in ink. Alrighty, while the words are drying, I'm going to go ahead and move on to painting the next item for this project. So I'll be using this little piece here from the Dollar Tree and I will be removing all three of the little signs and you have to be very careful. I was a little rough, so it did peel off some of the wood. I did have to go in with some a wood filler and I tried to add some on there and sand it before I painted it. I did give these little items here two coats of the Waverly chalk paint in white and I did give the stick two coats of the Waverly chalk paint in pumpkin. Okay, and here is a look at the words. They look really, really good. I love the way they turned out. Here is a look at the little white planks. I did go ahead and paint both sides. And let's go ahead and move on to the next step. I am taking some yellow printer paper and my little circle hole punch, and I'm going to punch some holes, or I'm going to punch some circles to make polka dots. You definitely could skip the step altogether, but I loved the little polka dot look for some added cuteness. Um, you could also use your silhouette or your Cricut, or if you have some yellow chalk paint or some yellow paint on hand, you can paint your little polka dots on yourself. Now I will be using my little sticker maker machine. I absolutely love it. You guys have seen it in quite a few videos. I will have a link to one down in the description box below, but you simply insert your paper, you turn the little dial, and it turns your paper into a sticker. Oh so easy, yes please. So I'm just going to take my little yellow polka dots and apply them to the little white planks. Another good idea is if you use the little garage sale dots from the Dollar Tree, you could totally use those instead of these. Okay, once I apply all of the polka dots, then it's time to apply the little galvanized words. And I am using some pop-up foam dot adhesives from the Dollar Tree and I'm going to apply them to the back and they are sticky on both sides. I decided to use these little foam dots just to give the little words more of a pop-up look, a little 3D look. I really think it just adds that extra little touch this little piece needed. Once all of my words are done, it is time to put the little planks back on to the stick. So I just did this with some hot glue. And voila, this is so cute for Halloween. I think it looks very like candy corn vibes. Absolutely love it. I did pop this into a Dollar Tree floral arrangement that I did two years ago that I think is oh so cute. I'll leave the link to that video in the description box below. So you could either pop yours into a floral arrangement that you already have. You can make a new one or you could use it outside. Okay, moving on to DIY number three that is oh so easy. And I did share this one in a previous DIY video, but I will be taking one of the Dollar Tree's orange neon bright foam pumpkins, carving out the center just to create a little hole. And these pumpkins are hollow. And then I will be using this Buffalo Check infinity scarf from the Dollar Tree. Y'all, you cannot beat this. I did go ahead and cut the scarf and then I just worked my way stuffing the scarf into the pumpkin, making sure that the surface area of the pumpkin is getting covered. And this process does take a little time. You just have to make sure that you're working with your fabric, twisting and turning and stuffing it into your pumpkin. Now, I didn't wanna reapply that same little neon green 
pumpkin stem so I decided to take two of the Dollar Tree tumbling tower blocks and giving them a coat of the Waverly chalk paint in ink and then I hot glued them together and stuffed it in my pumpkin. And just like that, we have a oh so cute, very festive Halloween pumpkin. Okay, moving on to DIY number four, which is a witch's hat wreath using all products from the Dollar Tree. The wreath form is from the Dollar Tree. I will be using some black mesh as well as some orange mesh from the Dollar Tree, some glitter ribbon, some wired ribbon, some mesh tubing, and some pipe cleaners. I will have all of the information about the wreath in the description box below as far as how many rolls of mesh and ribbon that I used. So I'm going to take my wired ribbon and I'm going to cut it into strips that are 10 inches long. Now I cut mine into 10 inch strips because I'm only applying it to this upper portion of the brim of the hat. Now if you did it any shorter than 10 inches you would have to cover the top and the bottom part but 10 inches is the bare minimum. If you do want your brim to look maybe a little bit longer than mine then you could go for 11 to 12 inches. So whenever I'm preparing to make my wreaths, I like to prep everything. So I went ahead and prepped my wired ribbon. I prepped my glitter ribbon from the Dollar Tree in purple, orange, and black. And then I went ahead and prepped this mesh tubing. I did use two bags of the mesh tubing. And again, I cut everything into 10 inches. I did take my black pipe cleaners and I cut them in half. Now it's time to prep the mesh. So I'm going to unroll it and then I am going to roll it three times, cut it, and then that's one piece. Okay, so let's look at that again. I'm going to roll it once, twice, three times, and cut it. So I'm going to do that for all of my black mesh as well as my orange mesh. Now that I have everything prepped, it's time to start making the bundles. So I'm going to take two pieces of the black mesh and create a little X. I'm going to hold it tight and then apply my ribbon. Now you can do this with any ribbon that you have, but I will be making a pattern. So all of my black bundles will look exactly the same. So I'm taking a piece of the orange glitter ribbon, orange wired ribbon, and the ribbon with the jack-o'-lanterns, and one piece of the mesh tubing. Take a pipe cleaner and twist it around your bundle tight, tight, tight. Now I'm going to make all of my black bundles look exactly like this. Now let's go ahead and move on to an orange bundle. I will be taking two pieces of the orange mesh, creating a little X, holding it tight. Then I will be using one piece of wired ribbon, which will be the witch hat ribbon, the black glitter, as well as the purple glitter, taking a pipe cleaner, twisting it around, tight 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 now keep in mind you don't have to do two different bundles you can make all of your bundles look like the black one or look like the orange one or use whatever ribbon you have you don't have to make a pattern but I really wanted to use some orange and some black so that's why I went ahead and made my bundles this way so here's a look at all of my bundles I'm going to set them aside and start working on the upper portion of my hat Okay, so I decided to go ahead and take my black mesh and attach it to the top of the witch hat with a black pipe cleaner. So I kind of just gathered it and twisted it around the tip tip top and then attached it with the pipe cleaner. Now I am going to very shakily show you how I covered this hat. It's a lot harder to do it on camera to like get the angle right. So that's why it looks a little awkward but you're simply going to take your mesh and wrap it around and around and around the upper portion of your witch's hat. I ended up using two rolls of mesh for this top part. And every time I needed to stop and start a new roll of mesh, I just attached it to the reform with a pipe cleaner.
now that I have the upper portion of my hat all decked out in mesh, I did want to go ahead and give it a little bit of shape. So at the very top of the witch's hat, I did start to bend it a little bit just to give it that crooked witch's hat look. Now it's time to put the bundles on. Like I mentioned previously, I'm only applying my bundles to the top portion of the brim of the hat. And I did start with a black mesh and then I will alternate a pattern, black, orange, black, orange. So here is a good look at the process. This is what it looks like with half of the bundles on and half of the brim of the hat looking very full. Now I will go ahead and start fluffing up my ribbon once I have all of the bundles on. So you can see that here, we have all of the bundles, the hat is almost done, and now I'm just going to go through and start pulling and tugging and spreading out and fluffing all of my ribbon. Now you could totally stop here, but I do have this ginormous, huge, glittery spider from the Dollar Tree and I just had to put this on this witch's hat. Now I have a witch's hat from Pier One that I've had for a few years. It has a huge spider on it, which really inspired me to put this big spider on this hat here. And y'all, it was the perfect touch. So I just took some hot glue, popped this spider on and then I had this leftover pick from a few years ago. It was in all of my Halloween decor and I decided to just pop it here at the bottom of the hat. Now I did have a few bundles left over so I am going to use a few of them and attach them together apply another pipe cleaner on them and attach it to the top of my witch's hat and I think again that was just the perfect little touch. And voila, here we have it. An adorable witch's hat wreath from the Dollar Tree. Yes, please. Alrighty, that is a wrap for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed, and if you did, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Like always, I would absolutely love to know which DIY was your favorite, so let me know in the comments down below. And if I inspired you to recreate any of these projects, definitely tag me on Instagram so I can see your recreations. One more thing before we go, I do have two giveaways going on right now. I am giving away another Farmer's Market calendar, and that giveaway is going on on Instagram so be sure to follow me there. I'm also giving away a DIY crafting box over on one of my other YouTube videos which I will leave the link to that video with all the details in the description box below. Like always thank you so much for spending a little bit of your time with me today. Again if you enjoyed this video don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you are not already subscribed. Hit that notification bell so you won't miss my next upload and I'll see you on my next one. Bye guys. Thank mm -hmm. you.